YouTube, welcome back. There's a little bit something in this post game commentary. It's a little bit special. Now, the reason why I say that is because um, basically this was more expected by uh, a viewer. Um, I wouldn't say requested, but uh, to be honest, I kind of actually can uh, count it as requested. So. It's official. This is the first ever requested post game commentary, which basically means post game commentaries are now uh, they're now open. So if you want me to uh, view, of, uh, I mean, do a post game commentary of a, a game of your choice from my match history, then uh, just shoot me a DM and uh, I'll probably do it. I'm sorry that uh, there's action happening as I'm talking, but. Uh, uh, that's just how my games are. It's action packed. That's why you should be watching them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so that's a double kill. Uh, Ivan came in for a good, a good little save. And uh, the main reason why this kind of worked in my favor is because I didn't like press on and do something that wasn't going to work for me. I was waiting for things to come towards me. Wait for them to come to you. And you strike. It's best when it. It's best when these kind of things are done in your turn. Now, you can kind of spin that narrative and put it into something else. Uh, some of you know what I mean. But um, let's keep it into league. And uh, yeah, they came to me, and I dominated. Nice. Anyways, all right. So we recall and I buy coal. Darius mains will tell you not to buy coal. Most of them, uh, because they actually. Um, are conscious when they're to uh, when they're build building their champion. However, um, we're gonna go be beyond consciousness and uh, tell you why I built uh, Cole. Well, it's actually not really that complicated. To put it simple, and uh, too long didn't read. I lost respect for my laner. If I buy Cole, it's because I lost respect for them. Anyways. Alongside that, that's like reason one. But reason number two is because Call is, even though they will tell you not to build it, it is the most gold efficient item there is. You see, an unknown best case scenario is you buy Call and you still keep doing as well as if you bought something else. I'm just saying, if you buy Call and you're still killing your enemy, that's a win win instead of, I don't know, buying a Ruby Crystal and still killing your enemy. I'm just saying, best of both worlds. Try to get everything uh, towards you. Now, because of all this uh, disrespect that I'm uh, building on top of uh, Kale, and uh, because I simply just despise this champion, I created a freeze, and I plan to keep it for a while. I'm going to create a CS gap, an EXP gap, everything. I don't want her to be into the, in the game, um, simply just because of the championship picked so let's uh move on okay so it it's up to level seven i kind of uh, broke the freeze um i wanted to i i think i wanted to buy an item or something that's what i think i was thinking but i'm not sure if that's uh, really the thing i think i was just trying to get all the cs possible and i uh ended up csing a little bit too fast and it ended up deep pushing so uh, I made a mistake is what I'm trying to say so try not to do that in your games and uh, you'll probably create even uh, an even larger CS gap the CS gap right now is 72 to 30 Ooh is that 42 I think it is so uh, if that's the case if I wanted to really buy a night and desperately then let's see what happens That's that's not acceptable. No. If I was recalling to do that, then that was incorrect. That was not supposed to happen. Don't do that. If you're going to do that, then buy a full item. These components aren't worth recalling for. Hell, even Spectre's Cow is a lot more worth recalling for. Because you'd be sitting there sustaining for an even extended period of time. But this doesn't do anything. <sighs> I'm a little disappointed. but um... Man, don't do that. 
whatever. I I think I created another freeze, so it's okay. Oh no, I ended up I ended up pushing. I ended up pushing. Uh, why did I do that? Why did I do that? Oh no, 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 no! I'm starting to make uh, bad uh, reasonings behind uh, why I keep doing these things. I pushed because I wanted that placing. As you can see, I'm about to get it. Yeah, I got gold. I pushed in the wave. I'm about to recall. Now, here is the problem. I recall to buy that. A cloth armor. Do not do that. These are mistakes being made. Yes, I'm not dying, but these are still mistakes. Just because you don't die doesn't mean you don't make mistakes. That's a mistake. Don't do that. It's a word. You need, if you're recalling, it needs to be for a purpose. Buying real items, real components. Not this. You might as well tr keep making the gap bigger and bigger and bigger. Uh, yeah, she's not going to die like that. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. She did flash. Uh, I just need to. Is that worth doing? I killed her, but I wasted both my sons. I still clear. I clear all the entire main wave, and I, it seems as if I'm gonna take the tower plating as well. So that's uh, like a kill, the wave, and the tower plating. That's three. Um, but if I'm not mistaken, yes, Victor TP. Then uh, he ended up killing me. Seven hundred gold to Victor. Is using both sums for Kale worth it? Correct me if I'm wrong, but after she flashed, it didn't seem as if it was going to do much. Like, I might as well... Oh, she flashed? Uh, all right, then I'll get her. I'll get her a different time. Maybe it will work as, uh, in another uh, scenario. Okay, so... Just back off and keep CSing. Um, but I guess I went through this route. It's it's Victor's first kill, so it's fine. And who who knows? Uh, that's just a gold reset for Annie. <laughs> Kale ended up uh, TPing in, in, somewhere in the Dragon Pet and she died. So uh, that basically means I get two more platings. Um, I do have Sunfire. Okay. Okay. It's looking somewhat positive what we're doing here. Okay, needed needed some kind of fix. And yes, I took tower. So uh, yeah, that's that's good, 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 nice. There's a uh, wood. Kane really doesn't want me to have. Uh... That's a lot of people. I don't. I can't live that. It's too early. It's too early into the game. And there's four people on me. Like, yeah, okay, yeah, Darius sacrificed himself to get Dragon. Well, technically, I didn't sacrifice because that's not what my plan was. I wasn't, oh, I'm going to do a big burn move and uh, int. I'm going to int there, you know? Just going to do a little int so that uh, they're distracted and my team goes. That wasn't part of my plan. My plan was to live. We are... Playing a survivalist, we're supposed to survive, not die. Yes, take damage. Yes, draw attention. But death is not part of it. Scion is the guy who wants to die. They put a second one? Why? Ah, these people, man. What the hell? Uh, we're going for Spirit Visage. I don't know if this is right. I feel like I need to put some AD, but AD... I don't know. I'm I'm starting to be against long swords nowadays because like it just keeps getting me killed. But that's not an excuse. I should be building some kind of damage item. It just needs to. Maybe it just needs to come from a uh, uh, HP item as well. So something like phage or something that would probably work. <laughs> Oh, 
That's an early kill ultimate. Maybe I did something wrong because I actually led my team to die. Two. Two deaths actually. It's kind of sad. But I have two sums. So I hope something good is going to happen. Let's spectate. Q missed. Still getting focused. Got five stacks. That's one. I flashed in the wrong direction. But that's two. And uh, I don't think he's going to die. People buy these disgusting items only because I am in the game. Us, answer yourself. Who else would he build the stopwatch for? Because stopwatch goes into Zanya's. Mm, perk, like, here's why. Here's why. Here's why I say this. Because some people think I'm speaking nonsense here. Annie is also a mage, but she isn't even thinking about going Zanya's second. Why? There's an AD uh, cane. He could get knocked up and die, but she's not going to build Zanya's for him. No. No, there's a there's an ash, but she's not gonna build zonias for her yet. No. So 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 it c coming down to the conclusion that I'm initially talking about, who is Victor targeting with this zonias build? Me. Why me? Because I am literally the greatest person to set foot in that rift. Me. I don't care if the ego is the one talking. The ego is correct in this statement. Spirit Visage. We have to get Sterex now. I don't know if I like this build, but it's working, so... It just feels meta, and I feel like that's wrong. I don't, I don't like this anti... Uh, Anti-fight gameplay. It's just knock him up and dash away. Nah, you, you, you need to suffer death somehow. Like that. Whatever, man. Whatever, whatever. I don't have summoner spells. That shouldn't even be there. You, you really have to stay split until you have ghost up. Because you are not a champion without ghost. You don't need flash. I don't care what people say. You don't need flash. You just need ghost. You need ghost as, as much as possible so that you are actually a champion. Because you can function without flash, but you can't really function without ghost, man. That's, that's something I don't really like too much about this champion. Ghost is an amazing summoner spell, but the fact that he relies... His whole existence hinges on one summoner spell. When there are champions that don't even need their summoners to do something... Man. It's it's okay. I'm not. I don't want to complain too much. Yes, I was complaining, but it's not that big of a deal. It, it just means there's a time to fight and there's a time to CS. I should have been in the phase of time to CS, and uh, that would be maximizing my lead as much as possible. So it's more of a mentality uh, training or focusing tunnel vision th type of thing. I think tunnel vision is the wrong word. You just want to prioritize something else whilst something is down. Prioritize yes when your ghost is down. See, I'm I'm actually saying things that make sense. I'm not a lunatic. I know people like to say that. But maybe it's because they are stupid themselves. And they don't see the bigger picture. Well, that was a mistake for the entire post-game commentary. You couldn't even see my stats. I apologize, but I, I need to spend more time doing post-game commentaries than redoing them, okay? So, uh, does it really matter that you didn't know what my stats were in the early game? I don't think so. Anyways, there's a fight going on. Well, there was a fight, but because I arrived, uh, the, the party, they, they don't want to extend the party. Which is weird, because parties only actually start when I arrive. So why are they... Ah, I see, I see. They, they want to do funny jokes uh, on camera. That's why. They have a lot of poke. This is... Ah.
sorry, sorry, but I'm I'm trying to deal with my allergies right now. I don't like ranged poke champions. It's disgusting. Do I have ghost? I don't think I'm ghosting for this one. Because I usually only ghost off that I have five stacks. Do I have any comments for that? No. Because, like, uh, people are probably going to think, uh, like, yeah, I know that they're, they're wrong, but, uh, hey, I'm going I'm to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why they're wrong. People are going to say, hey, you should have just ghosted there. You see, I ghost. I, go I ghost, right? Okay. Think about that. I ghost. They start running backwards, right? And then, uh. And then let's say I, I I just about managed to get the pull. Somewhere around here, he flashes on the tower. I flash after him. He has zonyas, okay? He has zonyas. I flash on the tower because he also flashed. He presses zonyas. I sit there taking damage from tower and probably CC'd by Rakan. Tell me how that's beneficial to me. It isn't. So yes, in conclusion... My brain is a whole is a whole lot more functional than you actually think. What is going on? Well, he uses Zonya's now, and he doesn't have Kaelotti to save him. So, okay, nice. Does he he book <laughs> bruh No man he he bought He bu <laughs> he bought Sterex Gage He bought Sterex Gage Am I unable to catch these champions? I didn't alter because my ult was on cooldown. I think that's what happened. So that's uh, Mountain Dragon for us. Mountain Dragon is probably one of the best dragons for us to have. Simply just because uh, we... We work so well off resistances. I'd say... The worst dragon... It, well, it's Cloud Dragon, but it's not even that bad. Because after you ult someone... They even make an attempt to ult. You get so much movement speed. And movement speed is so nice to have. If it's just a bonus that you can potentially have. Yeah, it is. All, all souls are good. It's just durability is whew, it's, it's a really nice feat. Damage, really nice feat. Sustain. I'm talking about the ocean dragon. And it's good. It's nice. It's nice. It's nice. It's good. I'd say it's good. So... There, even though Cloud is the worst, it's still a nice feat to have. You just don't want to have five Cloud Dragons that, or four Cloud Dragons. That's that's not really it. The best way to have Cloud Dragon is if you have like two before. So we're checking up on our uh, items. I have Sterex Gauge and I'm going for Deadman's play. No, no. Death Dance, sorry. We're focusing the cane. Is that even a good thing? So long as we get the reset? Okay, we got the reset. He's next. Follow up with a flash Q, maybe? Is she dead? That's a quadra kill. I'm sorry, I couldn't get her. She's standing too far away. I was under the stupid uh, the Victor thing, and she's a ranged champion, so I'm never gonna kill her. I apologize that I cannot deal with a ranged champion that is standing 5, 15 kilometers away from me. But that's just how League of Legends is. People play emasculated champions and there ain't nothing you can do about it. So yes, you want a pentakill. I understand you want a pentakill. But you won't get a pentakill simply because of the champion she's playing and the champion you are playing. Get it?
So just enjoy the quadra kill. Just enjoy what you already have. Yes, I know champions like Camille, Kane, Zed, uh, Kiana, all these champions, if they wanted to, they can kill all of these champions. They can kill, they can jump, they can do this, that, the other. Yes, I understand that. But um, since you're not playing those champions, you basically submit to just enjoying what you have. So, embrace it. You got a quarter kill against a ra uh, fairly ranged comp, so be happy. Death stunts complete. Would would finishing stone pipe be better? I'm not 100% sure. The way this is looking, 5v5, uh, we are stacked in terms of stats. Their back is against the wall. Yeah, that looked like a a game ending fight to me and they're getting slaughtered uh, Kane is just doing his uh, usual runaway tactics um, and we're just waiting for uh, we're just sieging right now uh, we're just gonna siege the second tower and then the inhibitor tower the inhibitor and, uh, the nexus eventually but let's let's see how it actually happens uh, I am running at champions which uh, isn't really working because uh, it's Ash. she slows on every basic attack um, Kale died because Annie threw something at her. Something Kale is not used to because she likes to play against the melee champions. But, um, uh, yeah. For some reason, we're not ending the game. I have, I have a suspicion it's because we want to use the, the Elder Dragon. Because it's really powerful, I guess. But I really think we could have just ended the game. They didn't have Kale. The, I guess they still had some kind of wave clear, but we have Baron buff, so we should be able to kill them. Okay. He's dead. So should she. She has a shield buff. She doesn't have shield buff. Why is her shield buff on cooldown? No one attacked her in the other fight. Okay, maybe I didn't notice. I, I really feel like that didn't happen, though. You might be saying I'm doing something uh, I'm not supposed to do. However, I'm stacked in terms of stats and she is level 15. She is deprived of uh, EXP, gold, and CS. So, I'm actually allowed to do something like that. Is he dead? Whatever. Man. That's one. Oh. Oh. That's a lot of... That's a lot of healing. Okay. It's a little bit of a nice finish, I have to admit. I can't reach. But she's not gonna die, I think. No. However, as you can tell, the game is starting to come to an end. And, uh, I think... Oh! Annie got the kill. Okay. Why is Annie such a nuisance nowadays? That's weird. But that's besides the point. She's a mage. She's probably going to do that for the rest of the season. Anyways. Nice game. Okay. So, uh, looking back at this game, I'd say, uh, in terms of improvement, it, it was, uh, I don't really want to touch too much on the deaths. I guess I could talk about the Recalling for items that I didn't need to recall for. But honestly, besides the post game comment, I mean the gameplay itself, I think one of the things I want to improve on isn't even to do with the gameplay, it's actually to do with my post game commentary itself. Because I feel like I'm talking too much about the general term people. Because people will complain no matter what. So let's change the focus from people and what they say to what I am saying. Because that makes a lot more sense. Hell, the average person playing League of Legends is probably silver. So what they say doesn't... All this is just blabbering. It makes no sense and it's nothing. It, it, it's just talking for the sake of talking. Just so that you can see from... Because it was behind the mic. 
Um, and a lot of people talk behind the mic, but I, I'm talking too much. <sighs> Anyways, um, I'd say it's a nice performance. Uh, there's the performance there, and uh, GG. I don't know, kind of. Uh, I did want that pentakill, but like I said, with the champions they're playing, I should be grateful for even having a quarter kill because most players wouldn't have a quarter kill playing against that comp. Yes, I know they get pentakills simply because they keep playing against uh, melee champions or uh, ranged champions that I like running into their queue. I understand that, but um, that's not the case for me. I have to play on hard mode most of the time. So... I need to cherish these quadra kills. So, uh, yeah, that was good. Anyways, that concludes the post game commentary. As I said, post game commentaries are now open. If you want me to review a game, just uh, DM me, pick that game, and uh, I'll probably uh, look over it. Um, hey, even yours, even your uh, post game commentaries of Darius. Uh, I'll probably look over it as well. Uh, that's open as well. You just need to DM me and uh, I'll see if I can make that happen. Probably because um, I'm putting in a lot more time into YouTube and content creation. So uh, I have to do that. Uh, anything else I want to say? Uh, the Darius um, podcast. Whew. I don't know the definitive date. However... Um, I will make a separate video talking about that. So we'll do that as well. And finally, thank you for watching the video. Do the YouTube usuals. Like, comment, subscribe. Share the video. And watch more videos. Anyways, that's it for me. All my links are down in the description below. Have a nice day. And peace out. Nothing but death.